Hello friends. <clears throat> so now we will take you the language part of this textual activities. The other part of course you have to do it with the class teacher. In a classroom situation, not in an offline, online situation. We can do it but it may not be as effective as you do it in a classroom situation. Alright, so let's begin with the uh, matching column A, column B. You can see here column A and column B, then the words that should match you can see here written in black ink. Okay. So valedictorian means the person who gets the highest mark, valedictorian. Valedictorians are usually respected by all students as well as teachers, valedictorian. Means a person who gets scores highest mark throughout her career or his career. Agile means able to move very quickly. That means agile persons are very smart. You can say agile persons. You can find if you go to a hospital, you, you will find the nurses. They are very agile. They move from place to place very quickly and do things very fast, you know. So they are agile people. Next time when you go to a hospital, you can see. A despair means to lose hope. Don't despair over bad news. Don't despair over difficulties of life. Understand? You should never get disappointed. Falsify is to make false a record or even a statement. Uh, it is it is a bad behavior to falsify records. Okay. A simple language, simple English, you can say, or well, another example will be falsifying your records will attract punishment. If you falsify records, you will be punished. Resign means to give up. So at the end of his career, he resigned his job. <laughs> then there's no other way out. So he gave up his job. Understand? He said, I don't want this job. Towards the end of his career, because he had some problem. Resign. Coincidence is something that happens accidentally, a sequence of events. Last uh, month I met my long lost friend on the road and it was a coincidence. We did not plan, the action was not planned, it just happens. Fidget, to behave nervously. You know, uh, when you go for an interview, you fidget with something in front of the interview board. Fidgeting with things in front of uh, the interview board, members of the interview board, it's not good manners. Don't do like that. Yes. This may lose courage. His mind was his mind was full of dismay when he heard that he failed. He was dismayed, answer. When he heard that he was he failed, dismayed. Master means to put your strength together, gather, summon, etc. When I was climbing Everest, I mustered all my courage and energy. I tried to muster because I had to climb Everest. It's not a, it is not an easy job. Wild, wild means bad, unpleasant, wild. Wild news often hurts you. Wild statement, people sometimes make wild statements about you. You are an innocent person, but sometimes they make unpleasant, bad statements. Eavesdrop, listen somebody's conversation without them knowing it. Eavesdropping, peeping tom, you have heard of that. Now. So eavesdrop, to eavesdrop is not good manners. Gentlemen will not eavesdrop on other people's conversation. On other people's conversation, eavesdrop. Beanball, beanball is a slang. Slang means not used in standard language. It's a non-standard word, slang, usually used in your day-to-day -day speech. It's a colloquial, it's a colloquial expression. It's used to in when you are talking, say with your equals. You don't even use it with people 
superior to you in your talk to people superior to you. So this you can just understand this way, non-standard words, slang, being told. Here it means a thin, tall person. I think all the words are explained to you, valedictorian. Uh, we respect valedictorians, agile. Agile persons are smart, despair, never despair over bad news, falsify. Falsifying records is not... Uh, if you falsify records, you will be punished, resign. He resigned his job halfway through. Halfway through means uh, he had a service of uh, 30 years, but when, we, when he completed 15 years, he resigned. <laughs> he went abroad. Coincidence, something happens by chance. Uh, I was just going out, then a stone fell on my head. It's, it's, it's a coincidence. Coincidence, fidget, fidgeting with objects is not good manners. Uh, dismay, uh, don't dismay over uh, difficult situations. Why master, master all your courage to face difficulties in life. Why don't make wild statements about others. Eavesdrop, eavesdropping is not uh, good manners. Bean board with a thin person. I have a friend. He is a he is a bean board. Because he is very tall and he is very thin. Okay, I think that's all right. Now, Sanya's completion, you can see, first one is Ajay. Adele persons are, <coughs> you can see here, Adele persons are <coughs> good athletes because they are to run. Yes, mother tried not to despair over the bad news, not to get disappointed. What a coincidence. I wasn't expecting to see you here. Coincidence. Not a planned meeting, but it just happened by chance. Something that happens by chance is a coincidence. She could not but eavesdrop. When the situation was such, you remember in the story, no? she was coming from the uh, sports field and uh, she wanted to take her sports jacket, sports uniform. Actually, she did not come there to listen to the conversation between Mr. Boone and uh, Mr. Shim, but it so happened. So she was so near that she could not but it, it had to. And Mr. Shimt was not ready to falsify the records. He's a gentleman, he was not ready. The thought that she may lose the jacket was the reason for her dismay. But uh, we have seen now this dismay means loss of courage in the face of trouble. So reason for her dismay. The wild comments from Mr. Boone made her upset. Wild comments, wild comments. And then that means bad comments. She couldn't muster enough courage to ask her grandfather for the money. Master miss put all her courage together to ask her grandfather for the money. Because her grandfather, you know, what, what did he say? He said, if it is a scholarship jacket, where is the scope for giving money? Paying this much dollars, not necessary. Hope that you are followed and you are, been, you are doing very well. So see you again for the another dose of language activities in the next class. Till then, bye.